So, you guys remember Jeff Flake? I don't blame you if you don't, honestly. He's the Arizona senator who said that he's not running for re-election in 2018 because of Donald Trump. Um, he's also compared Donald Trump to Stalin in the past, which is odd because he still votes with him about 90% of the time. You might want to get your metaphor out there because I think you're what they call a tanky then, Jeff. Okay, okay. So Jeff Flake just went to New Hampshire recently, and that, as we all know, is a big state in a presidential primary. This is because Jeff Flake is more than likely trying to drum up support for a presidential run. He's not trying to make it obvious. He's just trying to go, now nah, I'm just going to New Hampshire. He's doing the same thing a lot of politicians do who are obviously running around this time. Sanders is doing it. Cuban, to some extent, is doing it. Kasich has been kind of doing it. Zuckerberg was doing it for a while. Um, and out of all those, I'm less sure Zuckerberg is going to run now than I was before, and Cuban is still a maybe. I don't know. But almost certainly Sanders is going to run. Because that's just the name again. You don't get second place last when they never run again. You know, that's just not something people typically do. Um, however, I want to say, I covered Jeff Flake before, and I keep covering him in the past, and I will still continue covering him as he desperately tries to run for president. Don't worry, Jeff, you can do it this time! I don't think he's actually ever ran for president before. But the thing is, with Jeff Flake... And I'm going to warn all my listeners of this right now. He's not going to win. Do not get your hopes up. The Republican base still loves Donald Trump to this day. The 20% that still support him, that's the base that votes in primary elections. And I was warning against this when they were trying to build up Kasich, which to some extent they still are, mind you. To a lesser extent, but an extent nonetheless. You know... Kasich had the exact same issue, where he's running for a party that the base isn't going to vote for him. Now, I think maybe Flake is trying to run as an independent. However, if he thinks he can actually do that, then I'm just going to laugh at him right now. <laughs> I just say, by the way, it's kind of arrogant to say, you of all people will be the one independent who wins. No, you're not. The odds of Flake even coming close in 2020 are unlike. Now, mind you, mind you, it is still possible that in the 2020 election he could split the vote enough to where a Democrat wins. It is still a possibility. It's unlikely to happen because vote splitting... Vote splitting is not as much of a thing as a lot of people like to think it is. But it still does exist to one extent or another. But anyway, that's it. I'm Ephraim, and good night.